Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. I am the MMA detective, Mike Davis. This is episode number six of the Raphael Tori, Gerald Strippen Murder Tapes. In this episode, man, very interesting. In essence, whenever the detectives start interviewing people and things get a little bit more intense, the people that they're talking to, they tell them, whatever's discussed in this room stays here. You're not allowed to talk to anybody about the subject matter that we had discussed in our conversation. Everybody agrees. By the time they hit the parking lot, they're usually on the phone talking to somebody. That's just a fact of, the, of, of, of what takes place in situations like this. Whenever the person, a cooperating witness, receives a phone call and the detectives are privy to it and they're discussing the exact questions and materials that they're not supposed to, you got to call that person and have a real hard conversation with them. You kind of got to let them know the the seriousness of the situation that everybody is in and do not take it lightly. And if you're being duplicitous, you're, you can also be held liable legally for whatever it is that that happened. So in essence, in this case, and in this instance, Gerald receives a real hard phone call from the police. And at the end, you're going to hear mention three names. Clinton Torres. Clinton, they refer to him as Clinton Tory. His real name is Clinton Torres. He's a fellow Marine with Gerald. He, Gerald, and Raphael all hung out a lot. It's Clinton Torres. Uh, Joe Rogan. We'll say Joe Clinton, Eddie, and it's Eddie Bravo. Clinton Torres, in this in this situation, was also propositioned by Raphael Torrey, and kind of everything comes out. It's pretty interesting and it's an intense listen uh from both sides and it tells you just how close they are to making an arrest please like share subscribe it, this these are not easy to put together especially typing all of the words up for everybody at home could hear that that could kind of follow along while they're listening miguel Dorati is the person that's done that i can't imagine doing that so miguel thanks so much guys help us by liking sharing and subscribing thank you You've read his articles on the internet. You've seen his photos on the internet. You've seen him at the King of the Cage. But now, you're seeing him come out of retirement with a record of 14 and 0 in no holds barred fighting. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 195 pounds. Please welcome to the cage, the ever impressive Mr. Raphael. Hello? Hey, Gerald. Brad Thompson. Hey, what's up, Brad? You got a minute? Yeah, sure. What's happening? Okay. Hey, got a couple questions for you. Are you uh, are you somewhere where you can talk? Yeah, yeah. I'm at the VA hospital right now. For you? Yeah, checking out my knee. Ah. Uh, yeah. Getting a little crazy, huh? Yeah. You know, I'm training hard, and if you hear a weird pop and a tear, and you just got to check things out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, check this out. Okay. I got a call, a phone call today from uh, Richard Haskins, a civil attorney. Uh huh. He said he spent some time with you yesterday or the day before? Yeah, yesterday. Okay. After he spent some time with you, he made a phone call to um, Clinton Torres. Uh huh. And Clinton Torres told him that he had had a conversation with Raphael before Brian's murder, and that Raphael had told him something about uh, how Angel was unhappy in her marriage and that uh-huh. uh, he was looking he had found a hitman that would he could pay a hundred thousand dollars to kill angel uh-huh. and clinton didn't tell us that when we interviewed him and he um R- richard haskins said that you were aware of this yeah i thought that, that i thought you guys were aware of that too no when did you learn this i could have sworn you told me that and that's when i talked when i talked to clinton yesterday i asked him if uh if he talked to the if he brought that up, and I told him that he needs to speak to this Richard Haskins guy and tell him everything he knows. I thought that I thought you already knew no, about that. I had no idea of anything about that. There's just such a huge miscommunication going on. I thought that I thought you knew about that. No, but you know, here, here's here's the problem that I'm having with this because uh-huh. you know when we talk to people, you know, 
and I'm gonna and I'm gonna bring you and I'm gonna bring Clinton into this because you're uh -huh. the guys that we're talking to talking about right now. Mm -hmm. uh, especially Clinton. When we talk to him, he doesn't mention anything about this to us. Yeah. And I think I'm even the one that interviewed him. I, I'd have to go back because I've talked to so many people since then. But yeah. I may have been the one that interviewed him, and he uh -huh. doesn't take talk about that at all. Yeah, I thought that that. See, when I talked to him, he said that he even it told you about that. When did you learn interview. about that? Maybe w one second, Brad. I just wanted to let you know I'm back here waiting to see the doctor. I got my X-ray done. So, so okay, I'm back now. When did yeah, you? I, I I learned about this maybe a couple weeks ago or a week ago. You know, when I when I found out that you were going to be interviewing him, and I talked to him and asked him how it went, and I and I asked him if he told you guys everything he knows. He said yeah. Okay. So okay. And, Okay, now I'm going to ask you a question, and 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 this and this, this may be offensive to you, but I got to ask you this question. Okay? okay. Because up to this point, Gerald, yeah, I put the bank on you. Okay. But uh -huh. what I want to make sure is that this isn't something that you and he talked about and came up with in order to create evidence against Rafael Torre. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay. You're absolutely positive of that. Yeah, I'm absolutely positive of that. Okay, because I. Here's the deal. Let me let me explain something to you, and then I'm I'm gonna I'm saying this for one because I want to scare the shit out of you, uh -huh. and I want you to understand the seriousness if that were the case. Yeah, I understand. The district attorney has filed special circumstances on this case, which means they can file death penalty against Rafael Torre for this case. Yeah. Chances are that death penalty will not be what happens. It will be a life without. Uh -huh. But let's let's say they go death penalty. And let's just say hypothetically that you and Clinton said, hey, let's let's make this up. If you guys got on the stand and said that, and it was a lie, they could charge you with death penalty themselves. Blue. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I want to make sure that that's not bullshit and it's something that's legitimately happened, or at least you had no part in getting Clinton Torres to say that. Absolutely not, Brad. Absolutely. Okay. He, told me, he told me that that's what Raphael had told him. And uh, and that he had brought that up in the conversation with you, and I thought that, that was absolutely known by you and uh, Sergeant Bradford as well. Okay. No, he did not tell us. Okay. Well, I thought I I was completely under the assumption that he did. Okay. And that's why I was so that's why I was open about it when I when I talked well, to. Well, uh, regardless, you should be open about it. But the first thing you should yeah. do is whenever you hear anything, is you should call us and tell us. Yeah. Well, I, I I felt like shit. You know you know more about this than I do. I mean, you know, you've talked to all these talk to everybody, Joe, uh, Clinton, Eddie, you know everything I know. Right. I, there's no reason I would keep anything from you guys. Right. And uh, no, I, and I understand your concern about, you know, us, you know, perhaps making that up. And absolutely, that's not the case. Okay. You know, and, and even to this day, and, and all the way through the trial, I always, I've told you from the beginning, I'm, I'll take a lie detector test if there's anything that you have personal doubts about. Okay. You know, and I'll, I'll absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So if you want to arrange that, you know, I'm more than happy to take one. Okay. All okay. Right. All right. So that's, that's that. Okay.